Hello and welcome back. I'm one proud Bavarian and this is the second episode of our Viking adventures with King Eric, the heathen of Sweden. Uh, we just conquered Sweden. That's as simple as it is. The bigger issue here is something else. Uh, it's it's the entire thing, you know, with Sweden being an elective monarchy, because we will have some trouble here actually gaining access to that elective monarchy, or rather to making it inheritable for us. We only have to... Uh, girls as our children i don't think anybody will vote for them if they do uh even better but i have my doubts on a person level you talk okay let's let's put in some people here you will all of these people will always hate me and i'm not a big fan of it quite to the contrary yeah and then i will keep you because you're a good spy master don't let them kill me yeah <laughs> can we arrange that <laughs> would really make me a lot happier. Now, with that being done, I don't think legalism is that important, uh, at the moment at least. Because we are now looking at a Sweden, right, that is of Germanic religion. However, we need this and that province at the very least. And we are far from actually gaining access to those provinces because... Now, you are two away, right? I would have to... I either have a claim or I have to... Oh, wait. I could actually just straight up only go for Nidaros. Is that true? I mean, not that I could actually do that. Oh, I totally could. Well, okay then. Do you have any allies? In, oh, King of Hungary. God damn it. Queen Sanna of Denmark. Lowborn. What is the what is the marriage relationship here? Princess Sigrid and Prince Arpat. So I guess you're... Wow. Look at King Sven. Now that is uh, that is quite something. Wait, what? But you're not actually Arpad David. Who, the f who is Arpad David? You. And you're married to Prince. All oh, right, I see. Well, that's that excludes Denmark then as well, doesn't it? What other choice do we have here? Could start just raiding Norway. You know what? Let's just let's just raid a bit. That is what we do, and that is what you know is our mission here in life. We fulfilled our ambition, of course. That is a great change here. Strengthen the Germanic religion. Win a holy war successfully. Defend against a holy war. Construct a temple. Convert a province or complete a special opportunity. We're going to do this, and uh, in the hopes of strengthening it, because we need three holy sites and then a stronger Germanic religion. My heart bounds with fervor upon hearing of the poor Germanic souls being oppressed in the realm of King Olaf III of Norway. Odin intended for all true believers to be free to decide their own faith, but if Odin is preoccupied with divine uh, things, perhaps I should carry out the will of Odin. That would only be for that one. Hmm, liberate religion CB. That's a nice, that's an interesting CB. I actually haven't seen that before, but on any valid target of your choosing... It's just freeing religion is actually literally only this, and that is not that significant. I would rather not go to war for that. You know, I I can imagine a lot of better tasks of our time or use of our time than that. Ever since the last battle of Vestmanland, I find it hard to near my children for fear of being sent away again. I cannot stand the thought of us lo losing each other and the distance is better. Surely it is better. Wait. Never be close to anyone again. Depressed, drunkard, cynical. All these are shits. What? These are all shit traits. Get me out of here. You know what? I'd rather be depressed. <laughs> I would rather be depressed. Alright, let's just raid a bit. Gives us money, weakens the Norwegians. All in all, a very good endeavor. Now, do keep an eye out though, because the Norwegians may be coming at some point, and I would much rather uh, just avoid them than actually have to face them. As my troops ransacked the castle of Akahus, they uncovered an interesting relic that the bishop had hidden away. A tongue of a great hero. Thanks. What is the relic here? A great hero. Oh, that's cool. Sure. I like that. Right, so let's raid a bit. And uh, maybe, like, let's just carry on 
raiding over here. No really need to continue over there. So, while we're raiding here, we're actually having an issue because we still don't have a proper sun. And now with, without a sun, as stupid as it sounds, it's just nobody will vote for us. I don't even think anybody will vote for us if she ever grows up, which I hope she does, but I kind of feel like she will never grow up. Oh, did I just assault that? I didn't mean to do that. Oh, what the? When did I click that button? Oh, I must have. Did I press C by accident? Maybe. Beautiful cleric and still in my prison. What a shame. What a shame. We're making mad money though. And that is the biggest important here. We are also now a viking. Which grants us uh, extra privileges. Or rather extra prestige. What exactly does it actually give us? Reputation, blah blah. Prestige, martial, combat skill, Germanic opinion, reformed Germanic opinion and same trade opinion. That is very significant actually. Oh, there they come. I think we can fight them off. Okay, let's go to Akahus. Because if they do show up, they have to cross into a river here. But they don't actually show up, huh? Now how did that happen? <laughs> You're looting so much money. This is great. No, no, no. This is great. Uh, the negative part is that since we're always, you know, we're out looting here, it's very, very tough for us to actually... Give me a concubine, please. Do I need another one? No, okay. I think it's very, very tough for us to actually uh, get a child. And that is more than worrying, if you ask me. Just look at the mad money we're making here. Oh, you're my nephew. I will actually threaten you. Not to associate. There you go. That's what I thought. Alright, so far so good. We have mad money now. You barely have any troops. You have troops. How did that happen? Could I theoretically do something more fun here, such as uh, properly invading you? I don't think I could, but let's check it, okay? What can we do here? It's all just conquest, right? No, only conquest. What about invasion of England? Does that work? Nah, it doesn't look like it. Okay. M. Denmark, hello, my friend. How many troops does your Hungarian friends have? You know what? Maybe we can make this happen. I think, I say, we attack for Sjelland. And Hungary may come in, but we should be in a position. Now, let me, you know, I'm a, I'm a fool in a lot of situations. But I feel like we have a valid chance here to make this happen. An extraordinarily uh, valid chance. If we just camp out here on the island, we'll be fine, right? We should be fine. We're in eight minutes uh, already. Huge success here. Let's get some shipbuilding. We're, we're Vikings. We need shipbuilding, right? As you set the title right, you are... Both of you are of the right religion, so I don't actually care for it. Wait, what? Wait, why is Hungary just marching through here? Oh, they're not actually involved in this war. <laughs> now, that is too funny. That is actually too funny. We split them. Because... Oh, no, no. Now the Hungarians go over there. All right. We didn't effectively split them. But the attempt was there. They don't even invite the Hungarians into the war. Couldn't tell you why, but... They're not doing it. Man, this campaign, this campaign is going to be a huge success, let me tell you. We're already taking everything. And I will have to revoke... Oh, we need to push through title revocation, you know that? I didn't even consider that, but now that I... Excuse me, who are you? Do you see that look on her face? Wait, what? Yo, this woman. Shield maiden. Oh, wow. That is that is pretty cool. I like that. Playing a heathen. Now, that's something, eh? But in this case, we're just blobbing like crazy. Okay, okay, okay. So far, so good. What is our moral authority? 11. Holy side of Uppsala. 10%. Also, Infidel Temple looted. Uh, we just gotta keep looting once we take our three sides. Just need to keep looting, and then we will be all good. The Hungarians are definitely not what they were when they arrived here. Yeah, 1.73k troops. Get out of here. That's nothing. The defensive pact was this? 
Oh, you have settled down. Kabulistan. Wow. Amazing. Great news, everybody. <laughs> Alright, let's have me not lead troops so that I could theoretically gain some or get some children. What just happened here? Oh. Do you take anybody prisoner? No. Alright then. I'll get ya. They're just running away now. Through heathen territory non uh, nonetheless. I don't know what they have in mind there, but never stop your enemy when they're making a mistake, right? That's that's the saying, I think. Oh, there they are. We can kill him. He's oh, but now we're going to face all of them, aren't we? Oh, no. Let's do it. We need... Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> almost didn't auto-assign some commanders here. Let me just get you some commanders. Alright, I think this is going to be fine. If not, we still we have enough money. Don't worry about it, okay? Yeah, we, we took everybody. That's that's a bit of a pity that you have to do that. We captured... Oh, he's actually... How is he my kinsman? Damn, I didn't know that he was still around. Alright, we captured a lot of people, but I'm going to offer you peace. Get your capital. And with that capital... Look at that. Now we give out all of these. And by doing that... We are succeeding in uh, gaining another, yet another holy site. What do we need? 50%, right? 50%. Let me just take a look here. Right, I'm just gonna go around raiding a bit, I think. Not myself, of course, but I think I'm just gonna go and raid a bit. I need a child. I, I desperately need a child at this point. Fertility, sex appeal, sure. Let's do seduction. Name of the Duchy of Vestergutland. Uh, expose him immediately. Don't like the Christians. Right, let's siege down their temples because their temples are what gives us uh, higher moral authority and higher moral authority is exactly what we need to actually get away with this playthrough. Let's get an advisor, Eric. Good name. Good name, good name buddy. What can you say? 23. So we're going to sit at a lot of temples <laughs> having to be raided. There's no other temple in this province. Uh, there are temples in this province, and this seems fairly easy to gain. I'm just going to siege you down. I'm starting to think Ingrid might fancy me, my courtier. Uh, make a move. And if she gets pregnant, which she doesn't, it looks like. God damn it. Just let me have kids, yeah? <laughs> hey, you. No, I'm not going to secretly convert to Catholic. Instead, I would like to... Can I seduce you? I can't seduce any of these people. For whatever reason. Ah, oh, we need kids. Or at least one kid, you know. Just going to die out. Oh, there you go. My lover is pregnant, so what happens now is that I will make you my concubine and set aside you. Why are you Catholic anyway? Okay, I just think I got you pregnant. No, no, no. I got you pregnant. Yes. Take concubine. Okay. Because now it's a normal relation and this is good. Commander lost. During the Battle of Haaland, the enemy called my commander Duke Eric. Well, that's too bad, isn't it? Good old Eric. Wait, so next would be King... Ah, oh, it's a Catholic. Terrible choice. Do I need to obligate you? I absolutely do not, so don't worry about it. What if I take your 4.19k troops? I think we could make it happen, right? We could take the holy site. I think so. I, I think we may be able to do that. I also think that I may want to much rather switch to, uh, I think I want to switch to Gavelkind, right? If I have the chance, I mean, why wouldn't I want to do it? It's much more uh, impactful, I feel. All right, now that we've sieged this down, let me just get rid of you. How are you doing in terms of pacts? You have nobody. This is a quick and furious uh, series, let me tell you. 
All right, I think this is what we want to do here. I think we do want to declare war on you. No, not for that. Don't. I don't really care for that. And then we want to go in for good old Nidaros. Do a conquest and push through. I don't see... We have so much money. If if it's really necessary, we can just hire... Uh, and I think it might be necessary, but we can just hire troops. So let's just... Do a conquest of Nidaros. Because it's our holy site. Raise our troops. Oh, the Danish is still hostile to us, I see. Then we gather over here, right? Uh, we don't need those 62 troops, come on. And then we get some mercenaries. What about... 23, how much am I making? 9. What about you? Bulgarian company, that seems about right. We meet up here in Upland. Alright, good start. Oh. Ah, shit, yeah, they caught us. Why are you sieging me down, excuse me? But who are you at war with? Ah, uh, you know what, fair game. Excuse me? How dare you, first of all. Alright, it's a bit of a strange beginning here, but... Let me just hang around here, because they're just gonna land, and we can take them out. There are even more over here, and I think if we come in like this, we will take the river penalty, so we might not want to do that, but I'll have to... Another woman! Malmfried. Name her Ragnild. Ragnild. Mm, we do take a penalty here, but we're so superior in numbers. So I don't think we should worry about that. Yeah. Easy. Easiest money of my life. Now we do have to cross uh, towards... I mean, we don't have to cross through them, but I mean, we lost four people. Yeah, don't worry about it. Oh, no. Coming back to bite us in the ass. Oh, now we have to turn around all the time and take out these little uh, wannabe enemies. Right, let's kill these. And then we got another pretty big stack walking around here. But they're gonna it's gonna be the same exact battle. Except this time we just came in into an already ongoing fight so that we didn't even have to take the penalty. There is a Norwegian army here. I don't know where they want to go though. Victory, uh small kitty. Uh let's get a yeah, yeah. Pet kitten. Oh. Sounds about sounds about right, yeah. These two become bitter rivals, I really don't care for that. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. There are things in life that I care about, but that is not one of them. This ain't it, chief. Man, you know this the, the this ain't it, chief, that's that's too young for me. I'm I feel like an old man these days. Says a favorite toy is missing and she won't go to bed without it. Right, um that's okay. This ain't it, Chief. It's a good meme. Don't let me get wrong. Uh, don't get it wrong here, but man. I grew up with, you know, rage comics. <laughs> Those were actually part of our daily routine in 2012. Does not escape me that several of your commanders, yes, please teach them. And this war will actually be over in a second here, which is just beautiful. Jesus Christ, how quick are we? Is this actually, if we reform it in like the first three episodes, this is the weirdest playthrough I have ever had. But then again, we might also just die here and everything just goes to shit. You know, that, that's also an option if you <laughs> if you want to uh, have that happen. Uh, I'm just so worried. There's a lot of people here that don't like us, but I could probably get some people to vote for my candidate, right? Um, by a favor? No. Wait, can I change my law? Has reigned for at least 10 years. When did I get this kingdom? Have a look. 73. So two more years, and then we could switch to Gavelkind. And Gavelkind should be fine. We we should be golden with that. At least I hope so. I mean, God, if I sink the ship right there, then so be it, I guess. Mm, I couldn't I make you... Why can't I force this man to accept that he has to vote with me now? That is a part that I don't fully understand. Torture? No, that's not... None of this... This ain't it, she chief. 
Yeah, okay, let's just hope that we will remain alive for the time being, okay? I think that's a fair assumption. Force demands, thank you very much. Right, where are we? What, what are we sitting at? 34. 34, well... Can't get any more holy sites. Not easily anyway, so what we have to do here, I think, is just start, you know, raiding again. Right, let's get rid of the mercenaries. Oh boy, here I go, raiding again. This is so tiresome, because you have to take out the castle first, and only then can you even think about going for the, uh... Actual goal, which is undoubtedly, ah, oh, terrible, which is undoubtedly the uh, church. Jesus Christ, look at it, 34 already, fuck me. Nearly 750 piety. We could do that, I mean, I don't see why not, right? Let's take out their castles, then let's take out everything else. I knew there was a huge bear somewhere near the caves in Upland, and a courtier of mine has insisted to come along when my men and I went hunting for the bear. Enough with your nagging, you can come along, or there's no way you'll join us. You know what, come with us, and then I'll just say, but I managed to save him. I never get this event. This event is bullshit, because you can either choose to have an injured for no reason, or you choose to not have him injured, and then you'll be good to go. Uh, what we need to do, actually, is give out some titles. I never even actually noticed that <laughs> our titles were... Completely getting screwed here. Nidaras needs to go, thank you. Then I'll take you, I think, and you can get... Oh, I still hold all of this shit. Oh, that explains it. Didn't even have to give away... There you go. Alright, sweet. Done it. <laughs> that was easy. I thought I had already given away the titles there, but apparently it didn't. So, there you go. That should push us up. Yeah, 35, there you go. Failed county conquest minus one percent. Don't even have a temple anywhere here. What about you? No temple. Good god. Maybe it's time to go south again. Oh, there's a lot of sickness coming in. You see that? That's quite frightening. Okay. I just okay, let me just Blah blah. Mm -hmm. Women can inherit, but only if there are no eligible males. Ooh, that's good though. That means that once I change it to just gable kind or gable kind or whatever, uh, my woman will be able to inherit. I'm a big fan of that. Now let me just have a look at the churches down here. Burn the apostate. You. Oh yeah, he's possessed. Bye, my friend. We just need 50%. If we actually manage it, like, ne next episode or something, I don't know. I'll be I'll be laughing all the way to hell, yeah? <laughs> That's way quicker. Or that would be way quicker than I thought it possible, but we'll have to see. Oh, give me maybe a son? I don't know yet if we really want to have a son. Alright, we siege that down. Now comes the church. Could be friends. Why would I? Why would I want to? What? The pregnancy has caused my wife to develop quite the unusual tastes. Most of what she asks for dinner nowadays ranges from mildly unsettling to positively revolting. Still, scholars do agree that a pregnant woman craving should always be accommodated. Hmm. You know what? You're pregnant. You do what you want to do. Oh, and it actually works too! Wait, no it doesn't. Wait, what? Didn't I just... Wasn't I just informed that she was... I mean, I can kill this man. Execute prisoner. Hmm. Again, gotta do that. You know, it's not a good decision here, but I had to do it. Sorry. Like, obviously it makes people hate me, but at the same time, I don't want to lose it to him, yeah? Who are they voting for now? God damn it! <laughs> At first, the signs, pardon me, were small, easily dismissed as coincidences, but now they are becoming more frequent. My wife will give birth under auspicious stars. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Right, siege down another uh, church. 
Maybe we should. Can I raise more troops? Oh yeah, way more. You know what, let's go home. Resolve, and then maybe we can have two armies, which makes the sieging double the... Double as quick. And then in the next episode, maybe we will be able to do what is necessary. And by that, I mean... Reform the Germanic goddamn faith. Alright, I will see you in the next episode. See you later, alligator. Bye.